Hey guys, welcome to History Behind the Warrior, and today we're going to be talking about Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya is the son of Heihachi Mishima and Kazumi, and is also the grandson of Jinpachi Mishima, who is currently the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Now at a very young age, Kazuya was a very, very kind boy. But Heihachi, his father, would see this as weakness, and he would actually beat Kazuya as a very, very young child. But due to the love he had from his mother and his tuition in martial arts from his grandfather, Kazuya was able to overcome this. That was at least until Heihachi overthrew his own father Jinpachi for control of the Mishima Zaibatsu. This conflict would eventually lead to Jinpachi's death, and not long after this, Heihachi would kill his own wife Kazumi. Kazuya now had lost all of the people he cared about as a child, being left with no one but his father who abused him. Heihachi saw Kazuya as weak, and actually threw him off a cliff edge, saying that if the boy was truly the heir to the Mishima Zaibatsu, then he would climb back up. Now originally it's portrayed that he made a deal with the devil in order to come back, but now it's confirmed that the devil gene activated in him, something Kazuya inherited from his mother. When Kazuya climbed back up to the cliff face, he began training very, very hard in the Mishima style karate. Now during his short time at the Mishima household, he found out that his father Heihachi had adopted a boy named Lee. Heihachi had not adopted the boy out of love, but out of spite for his son, wanting to give him a rival and also kind of piss him off at the same time. Not long after this, Kazuya would travel the globe, participating in different martial arts tournaments and winning them all. Kazuya became an undefeated champion due to the devil gene, with the only scratch on his record being that he drawed with Paul Phoenix. Kazuya would then hear word that his father, Heihachi Mishima, would be hosting a fighting tournament called the King of the Iron Fist. Kazuya would enter the tournament and beat every person he came across. This would finally lead to the battle that Kazuya had been training for for many years, and that was against his father, Heihachi. Kazuya would engage his father and defeat him in a bloody battle. Kazuya would then take his father's body and drag him to the same cliff edge that Heihachi had thrown Kazuya off many years ago. Kazuya would then proceed to throw his father off the cliff edge and smile happily. After exterminating his father, Kazuya would be in control of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Over the next two years of his control of the Mishima Zaibatsu, he had actually become more ruthless than his father, being responsible for having Eddie Gordo's father assassinated, and even conducting illegal genetic experiments, which would lead to Alex and Roger. Now some of you are wondering, hey, why has Kazuya become so evil? Well, it's actually due to the devil gene that's in him. After successfully defeating his father, he more or less allowed the devil gene to take over, becoming a rather despiteful and venomous human being. Although the two personalities can be separate at times, with Kazuya mainly being in control. Now Kazuya would catch word that Heihachi is still alive, and announce the second King of the Iron Fist tournament in order to lure him out. Now during the second tournament, Kazuya would encounter a woman named Jun Kazama. The two would conceive a child, with Kazuya unknowingly passing over half his power to Jin, the unborn child. During the tournament, Heihachi would make it to the final round to face Kazuya. As a last resort, Kazuya would allow himself to transform into his devil form. Despite this, Kazuya would still lose to Heihachi. Heihachi would then take his son Kazuya to the open mouth of a volcano, and watch it erupt, apparently killing his son. After his apparent demise at Heihachi's hands, Kazuya's remains would be recovered by the G Corporation, a cutting edge bio firm and rival to the Mishima Zaibatsu. With assistance from the G Corporation, Kazuya begins to slowly learn how to control the devil gene. Over the next 20 or so years, he begins training once more in order to take revenge and gain control of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Now G Corporation's facilities would be raided by the Tekken Force, a strike force created by his father Heihachi. Kazuya would then ambush the Tekken Force and defeat every single one of them, promising to come for Heihachi next. Around the same time, Kazuya would learn of the existence of his son Jin Kazama and seek to capture him with the intentions of stealing Jin's devil abilities, making Kazuya's devil form whole once more. Kazuya would enter the King of the Iron Fist Tournament 4, despite knowing that it's a trap by Heihachi. During the tournament, Kazuya is expected to fight his son Jin, who apparently disappears, leaving Kazuya by default as the winner. Kazuya then proceeds to the finals, where he meets Heihachi and demands to know the whereabouts of Jin. After winning the fight, Kazuya is taken by Heihachi to Honmaru, a very old Mishima compound where Jin is being held captive. Once inside the compound, the devil Jin takes over Kazuya's mind and attempts to steal Jin's devil power. Despite having been restrained, Jin is able to defeat not only his father, 
but also his grandfather Heihachi. He nearly kills the two until he is reminded that this is not what his mother would want him to do, in which he then sprouts his wings and then flies away. When Kazuya and Heihachi regain consciousness, they are ambushed by a squad of Jack 4s. This forces Kazuya and Heihachi to work together to fight them off. However, Kazuya would betray his father and throw him into a group of Jack robots, leaving him to die in the ensuing explosion. Kazuya then pursues after the G Corporation in order to find out who was responsible for getting him nearly killed. He would attempt to track down and find out who was responsible for announcing the fifth King of the Iron Fist tournament. During the tournament, Kazuya would cross paths with Raven, who caused Kazuya a coward who ran away from danger. Although Raven is defeated and is interrogated by him. After the brief conversation, Kazuya learns that his undead grandfather Jinpachi Mishima is actually holding the tournament, but it is left unknown how long he participated in it, as Jin Kazama did win it. Although his arcade ending in Tekken 5 isn't canon, I think it's the perfect example to show how ruthless Kazuya has become, and how far he has broken off from what he was like as a child. Despite not winning the King of the Iron Fist Tournament 5, he is able to become the new CEO of the G Corporation. During this time, Jin, the head of the Mishima Zaibatsu, would declare international world war. The reason Jin had engulfed the world into a war was in order to draw out a demon called Azazel, with the possibility of destroying the thing that the Devil Gene originated from. Kazuya, now head of the G Corporation, would also wage war against Jin, making him look in the eyes of the public as a hero, although secretly he wished to control the world with an iron fist. During the tournament, Kazuya would send many members of the G Corporation to a remote desert as he can feel an overwhelming power coming from a temple. Not long after this, Jin and the Mishima Zaibatsu would also arrive at the desert. Jin then reveals his plan to eradicate the Mishima bloodline, believing that this is the only way to get rid of the Devil Gene. As the two companies begin to invade the temple, Kazuya comes across Lars Alexanderson, a rogue Tekken Force leader who he later discovers is actually his half-brother. The two battle with no outcome. Kazuya then leaves and warns his half-brother about the fate of being a Mishima. This is the last we see of Kazuya, but it's seen in the Tekken 7 trailer that the next game will be revolving around him and his father. Things are also going to get interesting in another aspect, as we now have Akuma into the mix, returning a debt he owed back to his mother Kazumi, saying that he would need to kill Heihachi and Kazuya, marking the possible end for the Mishima bloodline. Now guys, here's a preview for next week's episode. So it was heavily requested that everyone wanted to see Ken Masters, and as such, you guys are going to get him. Anyway, as always guys, please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.